The hot and hazy update for Grounded introduced insect strengths and weaknesses. This means insects can take more or less damage depending on the type of damage and the type of upgrade. Personally, I'm happy to see the game go in this direction because prior to this update, combat felt very shallow. Once you got the Mint Mace and Club of the Mother Demon, there was really no point using any of the other melee options. The new system is better, but as you will see, it's not perfect just yet, and there is one glaring issue that I hope gets resolved sooner rather than later. In this video, I'll be discussing the major issues with this new system and let you know what every insect is weak against and resistant to. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so so you never miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. The first thing I want to discuss is how I gather the information you're about to see. I started by using a document shared on the Grounded Discord that you might have seen in other videos. I then started spot checking to see if I got the same results, and for the most part I did. However, I did notice some discrepancies, so I decided the best course of action was to test everything myself. The way I did this was going into creative with bugs and testing one weapon for each damage type leveled to produce as close to the same damage as possible. For chopping, I used a level 4 bone dagger, for generic, a level 0 spiky sprig, for slashing, a level 0 black ant sword, for smashing, a level 4 pebblet hammer, and for stabbing, a level 4 mosquito needle. Each of the weapons at the respective level should deal about 2 damage per attack. I also made sure to use no mutations, and I tested each one against every insect and every creature in the game at least 5 to 10 times. I then went back and tested 3 different weapons at level 7, with each upgrade path, against every insect again 5 to 10 times. These were a bone dagger, an insect axe, and an antlion greatsword. This process took about 15 hours, and I'm confident in my results, but I know they're not 100% perfect. The only way to have perfect information is for the game to provide this, and this is the glaring issue I mentioned earlier. I would like to have a way to discover insect strengths and weaknesses in-game, and have the information available in the OS or in a new tab. This could be accomplished by either analyzing a set number of each insect part, or by killing a set number of each insect, or it could be incorporated into the new brain power system. How it gets implemented is not as important as it being implemented, because the average player isn't going to spend days testing every weapon against every insect to figure out what's best. That's the major issue right now, but there are others, including weakness and resistance amounts not being big enough, which results in very small number of weapons outperforming all others, the progression through each tier of weapons needs work, and I'll be covering that in a separate video, and there is one clear choice for upgrade path. With that out of the way, and for those of you that only really care about which weapon is best, or you're only going to use one weapon, or you want to know which weapon to level up to max as soon as possible, it's the Antlion Greatsword taking the spicy path. The only insect it has a penalty against is the Firefly, but it does so much damage that it will still quickly take them down. Beyond that, the best weapon to level up when starting a fresh game is the Ant Club. You can get it in the first day or two, and it's going to do well against just about everything you run into early on. In fact, from what I have gathered, it outperforms the new Salt Morningstar, with the only downside being it has less stun. If that's all you came for, make sure to hit the like button, and thank you for watching. For the rest of you, let's take a look at what each insect and creature is weak to, and resist against. I'll leave a link to the file I'm about to show in the description below so you can reference it later. Here's a chart that summarizes the strengths and weaknesses for each insect, except the aphid, gnat, and weevil, because you can use anything against them. The key takeaways here are spicy does well against most ants, larvae, or weaver and wolf spiders, roly-polies, and the broodmother. Fresh does well against infected larvae, ladybugs and infected ladybugs, stink bugs, bombardier beetles, and all three flying insects. Salty is only really good against ant lions and the assistant manager. For the damage type, there's a fair distribution of each type, but only the generic and slashing have tier 3 weapons at this time, so even when those two are not the weakness of an insect, they usually outperform the actual weakness. Here's a second chart showing this information a little differently. Green is good and orange is bad, and the darker the color, the more extreme the impact will be. At the bottom is the average for each combination. Spicy is best in combination with every damage type, and spicy slashing is by far the best combination, which is why the spicy antline greatsword is the single best general use weapon in the game right now. This also makes sense based on availability of shards, as spicy are the most limited right now. Now let's quickly take a look at each insect. I grouped them as best I could, either by when you encounter them or with similar insects. We're going to start out with the grasslands insects, as they're going to be the ones you encounter first. And what you're going to see is there's going to be a chart like this for every insect in the game going forward. They're all going to look the same. Once again, green is good, orange is bad, the darker the color the better. White's going to be neutral, so it's going to be in the middle where there's not much impact. And you'll notice there are some black spots. Those are because the Mint Mace cannot be upgraded other than Mighty, neither can the Salt Morningstar. They both have, Mint Mace has Fresh, the Salt Morningstar has Salty by default, but you can only level them up the Mighty Path. And then the Insect Bow, Crow Crossbow, and Sprig Bow can only be upgraded via the Mighty Path. If you want to get Fresh, Salty, or Spice, you have to use the specific arrows. So with the Long Might, it is weak to stabbing, and it resists against Mighty and Chopping. But what you're going to notice is 
the best thing to use against it is going to be the Ant Club and or a Bell. So the Law Mites are pretty weak. Anything will really deal with them. But once you get the Ant Club, you can pretty much just, I think, one-shot them. And then, of course, later on, you're going to notice the top three weapons. As this is going to be a trend we're going to notice going forward, the top three weapons on there, the Mint Mace, the Club of the Mother Demon, and the Antline Greatsword are going to be probably the best option. In this case, the Crow Crossbow can outperform most of them, depending on the upgrade path. Next up, we have the Red Worker Ant. They're weak to stabbing, and they have no other they have no resistances, so they're not strong to any, against anything. And basically, you can use almost anything against them, but if you want to start out either the a hammer or the ant club, obviously, once you get it, you're not going to get the ant club until after you've killed a bunch of them. So most likely, the best thing you're going to want to use against them is going to be a hammer early on, as that's going to be the best of the starting weapons. And then once you get the ant club, you're going to switch to the ant club. And then like most other things, a the top three weapons are going to be good and they're also specifically weak against the bows so you could just snipe them if you want to next up is going to be the red soldier ant these guys guard the red worker ants they are in and around the ant hills they are weak to spicy and stabbing and they're resistant against mighty and slashing and just like the their predecessor the the smaller worker ants it's going to be best to use the ant club against them. Before you get that, it's probably best to use bows against these guys as they are weak to bows. So even the sprig bow, even though it doesn't, a lot, doesn't do a lot of damage, it's going to do well against it. And they can inflict a lot of damage too if you don't have decent armor. So I'd recommend probably taking out the first couple with a bow. And then once you unlock the ant club, just switch over to that. And then later on, you're going to want to use either the mint mace or the club of the mother demon, which will probably one shot them or two shot them, especially if it's maxed out. Moving on to larva, this is going to be the first of like the armor type insects that are in the game. And larva are weak to spicy and generic, and they resist chopping, so you don't want to use axes against them. Again, early on, they can do a fair amount of damage to you if you don't have decent armor. So I'd recommend probably taking care of the first couple of them with a bow. Then once you get yourself an ant club, you're going to notice the ant club performs really well against them. It's got a lot of damage. In fact, it does more damage than the tier 3 salt morning star against them. And once you, once you end up getting the big three weapons, the Mint Mace, the Club of the Mother Demon, and the Antlion Greatsword, they're going to perform best, as they do in most cases. Moving on to the Ladybug, probably the most important insect in the game. And the reason I say that is once you get the Ladybug armor, it's going to make your life a million times easier. Before getting the Ladybug armor, a Ladybug will hit you, I think, twice if you have Acorn armor and just el immediately eliminate you. So you want to make sure you get Ladybug armor as soon as possible. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Now, when I deal with ladybugs, what they are weak against is fresh, generic, and smashing, and they resist stabbing. So bows are not necessarily good against them. If you're not good at blocking, you're going to use a bow anyway. It's going to take longer, but I would recommend using a bow against them until you end up getting their armor. Then once, or, or if you have an ant club and you're good at blocking or evading them. You can hit them once and then just run away, hide behind a stem or something like that. You don't want to hide behind grass because they can actually charge directly through grass, dry grass, sprigs, and clovers, and they will hit you from far away. So you want to make sure you... Deal with them cautiously. The Ant Club will deal really well with them. And then, of course, the Mint Mace and the Club of the Mother Demon are going to be great. And the Antlion Greatsword is decent. This is one of the few cases where the Salt Morningstar is okay. But as you can see, the Ant Club actually outperforms it in damage against the Ladybug. Next up, we have a Stink Bug. They're weak to fresh and stabbing, and they resist chopping. So you don't want to use axes against them. Similar to the other insects we already talked about, the Ant Club is going to be decent against them. And, of course, bows are going to be really good against them early on. Especially if you don't have a gas mask or don't have the fresh defense mutation, you don't want to get inside their stink cloud. It will kill you very quickly. It will damage your armor. So you want to make sure you stay back, snipe them. Then once you end up getting that mutation or have a gas mask, you can go in with an ant club. And then later on, you're going to want to use either the Mint Mace, Club of the Mother Demon, or the Antlion Greatsword, as those are the three best weapons in the game right now. The last Grasslands creature is going to be the Bombardier Beetle. They are weak to fresh and chopping, and they resist generic and smashing. Typically what I end up doing is using a bow against them early on because I don't have fresh defense mutation unlocked yet. I don't want to get hit by that acid because it will kill you really quickly and do a lot of damage to you. So usually I just get up on a rock, snipe them with a bow. Later on, you can move on and just use one of the big three weapons. The ant club's okay against them as well as uh, the black ant sword. So those are the weapons I would use. But early on, you want to either use a bow and then once you get the ant club, if you have the fresh defense mutation or if you're able to just evade the acid attack, you can just use an ant club. Moving on to the spiders, first up is going to be the spiderling. Now you may not encounter them very early on. They are by the oak tree if you break the web sacks. You're more likely to see them over by the hedge lab, but they are the small little white spiders. They are weak to slashing and smashing, and they resist generic and stabbing. Honestly, the best way to deal with them is with a hammer. 
it's going to be easiest to hit them. The ant club does okay with them, but I did notice in some situations, specifically if you're in the hedge when you're up on the roots or when you're on the fri the flying frisbee, trying to hit them with that club is actually a little bit difficult. And they are they're pretty quick. They move around pretty quickly, but they don't do a lot of damage to you, especially if you have ladybug armor by that point. They're really just not going to do any damage to you, even if there's like four or five of them. You can also use a bow against them, but overall they're pretty easy to take care of. And then in this case, the antlion greatsword's best against them. It'll easily one shot them. Although so will probably the Mint Mace and Club of the Mother Demon. Moving on to the Orb Weaver. This is probably the first spider you're going to run into because there are a lot of them in the grasslands. They're pretty much all over the map. And they are weak to spicy and they resist fresh, generic, and stabbing. If you're not equipped very well, I'd probably use a bow against them. That's usually what I do. Once I get decent armor, then I just go in with like an Ant Club. And then later on, you can either use the one of the big three weapons against them. Overall, they're probably the least dangerous of the, the bigger spiders. So... Just use a bow against them early on until you get a decent armor. Then you can go in with either an ant club or you can use a hammer. And then once you move on to the better weapons, just use one of those three. War Beaver Juniors are one of the two, only two insects that I ran into that didn't have any resistances, had no weaknesses either. So everything does even damage against them in terms of uh, bonus percentages or losses. So they're, you're going to see them pretty much only inside the hedge lab right now. That's the only place I've seen them. And then if you when you fight the Broodmother, she does spawn a couple of them in. Against them, you can use bows, but usually you're going to be fighting them in close quarters, so I'd recommend just using an ant club, because you should have an ant club by the time you run into them. And then later on, you can use one of the big three weapons in the Mint Mace, the Club of the Mother Demon, or the Antlion Greatsword. Last but not least, as everyone's favorite spider, I'm sure, is the Wolf Spider. They are weak to mighty and spicy, chopping and slashing, and they resist fresh, generic, and stabbing. 100% when I'm fighting them early on before I get Mithridatism, I'm going to be using a bow against them. It's going to take forever to kill them, probably 40 50 arrows depending on what level your bow is and if you're just using basic arrows but i usually just try to get up i usually try to fight the one that's above the oak tree that's sitting under the leaf because it'll usually stay where it is and you can sit up on the roots and just shoot it trying to take them on one-on-one -on -one without having mithridatism you're almost surely going to get poisoned and end up dying even if you have decent armor so i'd recommend using a bow early on once you get mithridatism you're going to use either a hammer the Ant Club, or one of the better weapons. The Antlion Greatsword does really well against them. You should be able to kill it with a level 7 Mighty or level 7 Spicy Antlion Greatsword, probably in like 3 or 4 hits. And then if you put the Crit bonus on, if you have Crit Chance, so if you use Coup de Grass and have it at level 2, it'll probably be even a little bit faster. Now we're going to take a look at the underwater creatures. They can be found in either the Koi Pond or in the Flooded Zones. What you're going to notice on these charts is there's going to be a lot of blacked out areas. That's because you can only use a couple of weapons against them. You can only use spears or daggers against the underwater creatures currently. First up, we're going to look at the tadpoles and water boatmans. They're both passive, so they're not going to attack you. They'll just try to flee away when you're trying to attack them. They are both weak to chopping and they resist stabbing. None of the candy upgrades made any difference against them. So I'd recommend either using the bone dagger or the spider fang dagger. It'll usually, even without being leveled up very much, will kill them in one or two hits at most, sometimes one hit. And avoid using spears against them because the spears do less damage. Although because they're passive, it doesn't really make a difference. Just if you want to, if you're farming them, the best way is to use a dagger. Next up is going to be the diving bell spider. These are going to be the menace of the underwater, specifically the koi pond. They are weak to chopping and resist stabbing. So once again, you're going to use daggers against them. Now you want to make be careful because you'd probably think because they have such a large attack range that you'd want to use a spear to stay far away from them. The spears just do less damage, so you're going to have to get in close quarters if you want to kill them quickly using a dagger. Just make sure you're blocking because they can actually do damage from quite a bit of distance, and they will attack quickly. So just make sure you're good at blocking. Hit them with the dagger, you'll take them down pretty quickly, especially if you have a leveled up dagger. Last but not least is the water flea. They are weak to stabbing and resist chopping. So they're the opposite of the previous mentioned underwater creatures. You're going to want to use a spear against them. And in this case, either the Peblets, even the Peblet Spear is okay against them. They don't really do much damage to you, even if you have no armor on, so they're not going to be that big of a threat. But just use a spear instead of a dagger. You can use a dagger. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So if you have a spear and you want to farm some water fleas for whatever reason, just use the spear. Next up, we're going to take a look at the flying insects in the game. There's currently three, the Mosquito, Firefly, and Bee. First one is going to be the Mosquito. Mosquito is weak to fresh, chopping, and slashing. They resist mighty, generic, and smashing. Mosquitoes can deal quite a bit of damage, even when you have acorn armor, and they can kill you, I think, in like two hits on medium difficulty, maybe three, but they do a lot of damage. So I'd recommend using a bow against them early on. As you can see, the bows do decent damage against them. Later on, you could use a club against them, or even the black ant sword. And then, of course, once you get the big three weapons, they're going to be best against them. 
specifically the antlion greatsword although in this case the bows actually do outperform the club of the mother demon so if you have the antlion greatsword you probably should be able to one shot them maybe two shot them depending on how you've upgraded it if it's fresh it's probably going to one shot them and then outside of that i would just use a bow against them next up is going to be the nighttime creature the firefly they only come out at night normally around the water areas they are weak to mighty fresh salty and stabbing they have a minor weakness to slashing so this is the first insect that's had a minor weakness so the major weaknesses are 25 percent. so you'll get a 125 percent bonus or you'll get a 25 percent bonus damage the minor from what i saw was about half so i'm saying it's about 12.5 percent so it's slightly better than using just a a neutral but it's not as good as using the 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 major weakness and then it has a resist against spicy and generic and a minor resist against resist and smashing again the minor is going to be about 12 and a half percent so the resist will give you will do 75 percent of the damage the minor will do about 87.5 percent of the damage and in this case you're going to probably use the same strategy the firefly sometimes are on the ground and you can hit them but they'll usually immediately fly up using a bell against them is normally going to be the best course of action and then the antlion greatsword and the mace the mint mace and the club of the mother demon are decent you can use an ant club but i'd probably just recommend using bows against them they don't really do much damage to you they usually just shoot their violet bioluminescent goop at you which will slow you down and they're usually not that much of a threat the only issue will be is if you get hit by them and you're slowed and there's a bunch of mosquitoes around that could be some trouble third and final flying insect is going to be the bee they are weak to fresh chopping and slashing and they resist salty spicy generic and smashing once again using a bow against the flying creatures is probably going to be your best course of action early on if they come in face to face with you you can use an ant club and then later on, the Antlion Greatsword is going to be best against them, specifically either the Mighty or the Fresh. That's going to do a ton of damage to them. And then the Mint Mace and Club of the Mother Demon are also good options, but not as good as the Antlion Greatsword. Now we're going to move over to the Haze area. This is where you're going to find most of the infected insects. Now, of course, if you turn the Haze off by plugging the Weed Killer 420, the, these, some of these insects will spread. Specifically, the infected Ladybugs will end up being all over the yard, and the infected Larvas I've seen all over the yard infected mites weevils and gnats i guess they can spread a little bit they don't seem to be as prevalent as the others but the first time you're going to encounter them is going to be inside the haze and first up we're going to have the infected mites and weevils they have the same weaknesses and strengths they're weak to slashing and resist mighty and generic to be honest the best way to deal with them is probably going to be using a bow because the weevils will specifically run up to you and just explode doing a decent amount of damage to you so i'd use a bow against them until you have decent armor and then once you have a better weapon you could use the ant club that's going to do a decent amount of damage to them as well as the top three weapons as usual. Infected gnats are a little bit beefier than their regular gnat counterparts. They resist chopping. That is the only resist they have. They have there's no there's no weaknesses that they currently showed. And usually the best way to deal with them is going to be just shooting them with a bell, specifically because they're going to be flying. You can also use hammers or the ant club. And then of course later on use the top three weapons. They're going to be decent. And the salt morning star is actually okay in this case, but once again the ant club actually outperforms it. Infected larva is going to be the first big boy that we're going to find inside the haze area. You're also going to find them inside of the lab. They're going to be all over the abyss or the canyon areas of the haze. They are weak to fresh and slashing, and they resist salty, spicy, and generic. More likely than not, you're probably going to want to deal with them with either a bow, or you could probably use the ant club. And then once you get the better weapons, the antlion greatsword is just going to tear through them, especially if it's fresh. You'll probably be able to one or two shot them with a max level fresh antlion greatsword, even a mighty but I would probably use bows with them up until that point because you just don't want to get close to them because they can do a fair amount of damage. Last but not least is going to be the infected ladybug. She's going to be weak to fresh, generic, and smashing, and she's going to resist salty and stabbing. You might first encounter her outside the haze lab, but you're definitely going to run into her inside the haze lab because in order to get through the haze lab and get to the haze lab chip now, if you didn't get it prior to this update, you're going to have to clear the room that has her in it. Also, killing her will give you the truffle tussle mutation that was just added in the hot and hazy update now the way i dealt with her you're going to see that bows are not really that good against her she was doing a lot of damage what i did when i got inside that haze lab was i cleared out all the other insects first so i took care of the larva with bows and then i walked in and just killed all the infected mites that were in there and that left me just one-on-one -on -one against her i went in and tried to hit her a couple times but she shoots projectiles that explode and there's there's also strange spores inside of there so there's just danger everywhere so basically what i did was i just stood in the doorway and just picked her off with the bow and for some reason she didn't charge me I'm not sure if that was a glitch or whatever but her ai she just basically stood there while i stood in the doorway and i killed her once you have good armor though i think you'd probably be able to take care of her outside especially if you're good at blocking you just have to avoid those projectiles so maybe do a hit and run with either the insect hammer the ant club or of course the mint mace or club of the mother demon 
This is one of the few cases where the Antlion Greatsword is not the absolute best weapon against the Infected Ladybug, whereas the, the fresh, a fresh Club of the Mother Demon is going to tear through her pretty quickly. All right, our second and last area we're going to look at is the Trash Heap slash Sandbox slash Picnic Table. This is the new area that was just basically updated. Actually, I didn't, and the Black Ant Hill. So the, basically the western side of the map that was updated in the Hot and Hazy update. First up, we have the Meaty Nat. The Meaty Nat is like the Orb Weaver Jr. has no strengths or weaknesses that I could see. They can do a fair amount of damage to you. I believe they can knock stuff out of your hands. So you're probably going to deal with them with a bow. That's going to be your best option as they are weak. They, they, they take a lot of damage from the bows in this case. And then on top of that, you can use either the Ant Club if you want to get up close. And then, of course, once you get the good weapons, you can either use the Mint Mace, the Club of the Mother Demon, or the Antlion Greatsword. And you're mostly going to find them in the trash heap, like on top of the trash can or in the trash areas where there's biohazard zone. Black ants do wander in the trash heap. You'll also, of course, see them in the Black Ant Hill, and they do make their way into the sandbox sometimes, probably their own detriment, because usually the ant lions will rip them apart. And then they're also sometimes, there's some of them on the sandbox. They're going to be weak to spicy and stabbing, and they resist fresh. And in this case, a bow is really good against them. You can also use the ant club, and then once you get the top three weapons, you can use those. Although in this case, you will see the bows actually do outperform. A crow crossbow does the most single shot damage of any anything against them other than the spicy what is it the spicy antlion greatsword and the spicy club of the mother demon so if we're just looking at the basic upgrade pass up to level five you're going to want to probably use the crow crossbow black soldier ants protect the regular black ants they are weak to spicy generic and stabbing they resist mighty fresh and slashing they're pretty much only going to be inside the black ant hill i don't think i've ever seen one wander outside into the sandbox i don't remember even seeing one coming out inside of the trash heap they may be there but I've really only seen them inside the Black Ant Hill. So against them, you're pr they do they actually have a lot of health compared to their the Red Soldier Ants, and they're gonna be they're gonna be tougher to deal with. So you're gonna want to probably use a bow against them, keep your distance, and then if you get up close, the Ant Club's gonna be decent. And then of course, if you have one of the big three weapons, you're gonna want to use either the Mint Mace or the Club of the Mother Demon. In this case, the Antlion Greatsword is actually pretty poor against them because they are resistant to slashing. So you'll want to use probably the Mint Mace or the Club of the Mother Demon outside of a bow. Probably most people's favorite new insect is the sickly roly-poly, and you're going to find them wandering around the sandbox, picnic table, trash heap. They're just wandering around in the grass areas outside of those. They are weak to spicy, generic, and slashing, and they resist stabbing. So they have a lot of health. You're probably not even going to want to waste your time fighting them unless you want to have a protracted battle, unless you have either the mint mace or the club of the mother demon. Those are going to be the two best options against them. And then the Ant Club does actually pretty well against them. A bow is just going to take a long time to kill them. So if you want to fight them, they do a lot of damage. They can heal themselves. You're probably going to want to just wait until you have either the Mint Mace or the Club of the Mother Demon maxed out. That's going to be the fastest way to take care of them. Inside the sandbox, we're going to find Ant Lions. Ant Lions are very beefy. They have a lot of health. They are weak to salty and slashing, and they resist fresh, spicy, and generic. You can use a bow against them. You can use probably the antlion greatsword but you're gonna have to kill them and get the antlion greatsword that's gonna be the best option to use their own parts against them but prior to that the best option is probably going to be to use a bow and just pick them off with the bow alternatively you could use explosives we haven't talked about those yet because the game unfortunately does not tell us how much damage the explosives do but if you get like five to ten splat burst and you throw them at them you're going to easily kill the ones that are just sitting down in the hills so i'd recommend probably trying to get your first sword first once you get the sword then you can probably freely run around in there and take care of them pretty easily but up until that point, pretty much every weapon in the game is going to be is going to take a long time to take them down. So our final category is going to be the bots and the bosses. So the first bots you're going to run into are Taze Tees and Arkers. You're going to see Taze Tees in the Oak Tree Lab. You'll see the both of them inside of the other labs, I believe. I don't know if the Arkers are in all of them. I can't remember. I know there's Arkers in the Koi Pond Lab. And there's definitely Arkers inside the Black Ant Hill Lab when you fight the Assistant Manager. But anyway, they both have the same strengths and weaknesses. They are weak to smashing, they have a minor weakness to generic, and they resist fresh and stabbing. So basically what you want to use against them is an ant club. If you can get the ant club, you will pretty, I think you two-shot it with a level five ant club. I think it two shots, it was either level four or level five ant club in medium mode, two-shot a Taze T, and it, it killed the Arkers not much slower than that. Uh, wait, later on, once you, if you get the Club of the Mother Demon, that's just going to pretty much like wipe them out. But at that point, you probably aren't going to even see any more of these until they add more labs in the future. So I'd recommend just getting an Ant Club to deal with them quickly. Just do not use 
the spears and stuff against them because they take forever. It's easiest to kill them with a spear. It's just going to take forever. So just get yourself a claw, uh, ant club and it'll just take care of them very quickly. Our penultimate creature slash insect is going to be the assistant manager. This is the mini boss that was added in the hot and hazy update inside the black ant hill lab. The assistant manager is weak to salty and smashing, has a minor weakness to spicy, resists mighty and stabbing, and has a minor resist to fresh. That's a lot of things to remember. Basically what you're going to want to use, if you have it, is going to be a salty club of the mother demon or a salty ant lion sword. That's going to be your best option. This guy again has a lot of health. He spawns in archers and tase tees. There's other dangers that exist inside that little boss fight. So if you want to be super safe, you could just wait until you get the salty stuffs, which means you'd have to go into the sandbox before you go inside of the Black Ant Hill. Or you could go in, yeah, you could go through the Black Ant Hill to the sandbox, get some salt, then come back and fight him. But overall, those are going to be the best options against him. And the one you've all been waiting for is the Hedge Broodmother. The Hedge Broodmother is weak to mighty, spicy, generic, and slashing. She resists fresh, salty, and stabbing. By far, the best options against her are going to be the Antlion Greatsword and the Club of the Mother Demon. Of course, the first time you fight her, you're not going to have the Club of the Mother Demon. There's a good chance you might not even have the Antlion Greatsword. Although at this point, because they've changed how much damage things do, you might want to wait until you actually get that. If you don't have it, your best option is going to be a leveled up Ant Club with the, or, a, or a Crossbow. Although I'd probably just go with the Ant Club, especially if you're good at blocking, have decent armor. You should be able to handle her. So if you want to farm her after that and get her parts... Just use the Antlion Greatsword or the Club of the Mother Demon. So those are the strengths and weaknesses for each insect and which weapons are best against them. As I said in the intro, this new system isn't perfect, and I expect the devs to make changes to it in the future, but it's better than what we had before this update. I think once we have Tier 3 weapons for each damage type, the power will shift, and if they adjust the weakness and resist percentages to be more impactful, that would also create more opportunities for more of the weapons to be used. Right now it's the Ant Club and Bows early, then the big three of the Antlion Greatsword, the Club of the Mother Demon, and the Mint Mace late for me. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this new system and if you have any ideas for making it better in the future. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.